the drifter. Uh, looks like it's a point-and-click uh, adventure. So let me get a pointer and clicker ready here. And yeah. Oh, you can use a gamepad. Awesome. I jumped the car back in Breaker's Cut. I love the flow of that animation. I told myself I'd never come back. That never works out. But well, shit. Here I am. This must be me. Oh, damn. Shouldn't have told Annie I'd come. Oh no. I how she tracked down my number. My strong big sister crying into the phone. Oh well. Let's stick those walkies. Right trigger and aim with L to look at your. Okay. I guess we're getting feedback on this. Oh, that's cool. Familiar skyline. Peak that's really cool. Reefer. City hasn't changed much in the last five years. It's weird, Jeez. but it's cool. What am I going to say to Sarah? Hey, sorry about, you know, disappearing for half a decade. Like you do. <laughs> Jesus. I've been sleeping rough long enough. I like that the icon changes to, um... Despite the diesel fuel... What sort of interaction it is, too. Really neat. And good thing for a controller-based thing. Look, like there's a menu tab, and... I didn't see that when I was setting up. There's a menu tab behind where I put the the name of the game. I'm sorry. Okay, time to ditch this old girl. I didn't want to do that. I pull at the door. Oh, we're stuck anyway. Budge. Puzzles. Right. Everything I need's in there, so not much. My phone, wallet, change of undies, and shaving kit, so I can freshen up when I need to. Day before Plus I leave. The suit I borrowed for the funeral. Oh. It's moving slowly. Actually, not going to change. Okay. Okay. Oh, and if you've looked at something, there's no new interactions. It uh, goes it's away. Like working reefer cars like this. You've got to set those flow hatches just right, or you'll have a car full of rotting fruit. Putting my back into it this time, strain against the frame, and getting that open without some help. All right, well, our options are hatch or friend. I still friend. To pull back the tarp. Poor old guy had hardly stirred the whole trip, sleeping off one thing or another. Hey, dog. give me a hand with this door. He mutters something under his breath, continues snoring. All right, I guess that's not happening. Okay. Bending down, I shake him by the shoulder. Hey, I fall back as the iron bar whistles past my face. Whoa. Hey, watch it. Quiet, you'll get us killed again. You've lost it, mate. You have to help. He glances to the side, listening. You're right, try that, it's no use. What? Think. Think. He continues muttering under Great. his breath. Oh, that escalated quickly. Look, put it down. I'll put it through your skull. Think, think. He returns to muttering to himself, eyes darting about wildly. I grab the tarp. Yay, I got a free tarp. I throw the tarp over the raving man, wrestling him to the ground. Dad, get it off! You don't know what you're doing! I gotta get out of here. Oh, free rebar. Hank, drop it. Take it easy! Get it off me! Can't cycle again! I'm going to lose it! Bit late to worry about that, mate. Case of reincarnation. 
Take it easy! He yells back incoherently and continues to flail around. I don't you are talking. Take it easy! He yells back incoherently. Alright, I guess I guess to he's not going to for that. Let's get out of here. I think about trying to get up there, but I'm sure I can get this door open. And getting that open without some help. I've interacted with everything, so... And getting that open without some help. Reaching down. There we go. It wasn't registering on the little wheel, but... Part of this bad boy. I jam the bar into the frame, lean into it. The door gives way with a screech. Sudden, blinding lights. They did say it was experimental. So. I spin back behind the door. The old guy, having finally freed himself, is caught like a rabbit in headlights. What have you done? Ah, oh, shit. Security. The man looks around frantically. Relax. I've been caught freight hopping before and talked my way out of it. Hey, we're with Western Rail. Oh. Jesus, what the hell? You've got to break the cycle. I can't. Oh, oh. Oh, that escalated even more quickly. Oh, God. Uh, we gotta go. Squinting into the light, I glimpse silhouettes of armed men, waiting and watching. Can't make out who they are, but not Metro Security. I saw the tarp? Or no, I threw it on him. Bullets shatter past me as I drive across the doorway. Alright. Uh Hack is useless. Hatch is probably what I want to do. No, nope. not getting out that way. Christ, what's going on? Well, I'd like I wonder if you keep doing it long enough, they just shoot you in the head eventually. I throw open the hatch and leap into the blackness on the far side of the train. Dang. And I'm tumbling down a steep siding, concrete rushing up to meet me. I guess it's a lot to animate. Holy lights! Welcome to chapter one, baby. Yeah, that that's quite the intro. Looking at the sky, trying to process what just happened. I hear the distant sound of sirens. I'll do, I'll do the audio. The audio design's the really good, actually. Slamming tires on gravel. Sirens are coming in the uh, right channels. In silence. Mark. Pick up the phone. Well, okay, so this is modern day. Off. Mm. All right. Topics. I pick it up, screen flashing, a blurry photo of my sister. Annie? Mick, hey! Yeah. Oh, good. Color-coded. Oh, I mean, if you're colorblind, that might not work so well, but... Sure. Color-coded text. Some enthusiasm? We've got a funeral to plan. Same irrepressible Annie. You in town yet? When are you getting here? We need to go through Mum's things, find some photos for the wake. Did Uncle Phil call you? Uh, no. Did I need... Ah, never mind. You're staying at ours tonight, yeah? Have the address? Yeah. Off Cooper Street, right? No, Mick. Jesus. We moved, like, over a year ago. Ah, sorry. I... Angry beeps from my phone. You gotta break out of that head of yours, Mick. Talk to Sarah? Annie, my phone's gonna run out. Jesus, she's gonna be at the funeral, you know. You still haven't talked to her. I can't. I... Just tell me your address. My battery. I know it's hard for you, but you're gonna have to face her. Annie, your address. Great. I look down at my dead phone. Thanks. Shit. No idea what her address is. How am I supposed to remember they'd moved? Uh, better find a way to ring her back. So we're gonna need a charger or a battery or something. I like the uh, I like the topic thing. So you get like a, if you've laid it, let, let the game off for a little bit. You can, uh. I'm back. Oh, and there's a quick look too on all these items on the thing. Pack must have caught something sharp on the way down. Ripped her right open. I fish out my phone's charge cable. Okay. The only thing worth salvaging. Hook it into something. Bridge. Talk to this fine gentleman. I toss the cigarette lighter. Oh, and sweet. Put my phone into the socket. Nothing. Great. Might only charge while the engine's running. Ah. 
damn it. Help it, aren't we? It stinks of petrol. They must have siphoned some to try and torch it. Ain't no siphon. So. I wanted to pop it open. Let's see what the damage is. Electrics look okay. Smashed radiator and a little low on wiper fluid. Right, it's not, not going anywhere, but it should start. All right. Talk to our. Bill? Is that you? Mick, what are you doing here? Bill used to hang out around the shelter where Sarah worked. Known him since I was a kid. Uh, back for a funeral. Come back for a friend. Mum, uh, mum died. Oh, Mick, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Long time coming. She'd been, um, she'd been sick for a while. You don't sound okay. He looks like uh, Santa Claus. <laughs> You're not staying at the pit anymore. The Pitt Street Homeless Support Center. I'd ended up there as a kid. It's where I met Sarah. She had to shut it down, man. Oh, man. Why? Oh, you should know more than me. Surely Sarah told you. Sarah, my wife. I guess ex-wife now. I haven't talked to her in a long time. Since, you know. Oh, right. Uh, how long? I, I'm, I'm kind of curious how long they're going to. It's all right. Hold off on telling us what the all you know is. I'm a bit shaken up, to be honest. Just been shot at up on the railway. Jesus, really? Thought that was some kids playing with fireworks. So what, some trigger-happy med officers? Couldn't be. They left when they heard sirens. Was this set in New York City? I don't know. Probably fair jumping? Hey, can I borrow your phone? I meant to stay at my sister's tonight. My battery's dead and don't have her address. Of course. Got her number? Shit. <laughs> uh, it'll be unlisted. Could call her practice, but she wouldn't be back in until after the funeral. Fuck, what am I gonna do? What's with the car? <laughs> Kids joyriding, I guess. Can't even torch a car properly. <laughs> Still, it's my own private suite until they cart it off, eh? They leave the keys? Yeah. Need them? Wait. Sure. Might be able to charge my phone. Bill fishes the keys from one of his many pockets. Thanks. All right. Uh, let's let's. Boy. Leaning in, I try the key. The red charging light on my phone blinks on. Wait. Then the engine splutters and dies. Of course, we need to find gas, don't we? Guess they fuel trying to burn the bastard. Well. Okay. Like this. But I'm trying to figure out how to pop the uh, I was hoping to get more petrol. I guess we'll check under here. Good evening, sir. My name's Angela Grace. I write for the Herald. Can I ask your name? Okay, well, you don't have to tell me. Anyway, I really want to find out what it's like out here for you homeless. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Hello. Leave the poor guy alone. He's clearly asleep. Oh, hi. My name is Angela Grace. I write for the Herald. Can I ask your name? Uh, no. Kid like this shouldn't be out here. Not your problem, Mick. Oh, that sounds like something goes down and you gotta bail her ass out or something. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a good hook. Again, we're kinda, I gotta scoot through these quickly, but this one, it's gone on the wish list. This looks cool. But I'm definitely curious about what's going on. You, I mean, you start with it over like that, you gotta be. Plus, like, the tutorial. Boom, boom, boom. They're like... Item, item, item. It all makes sense, and I, I really like the the wheel. Cool. So uh, yeah, the drifter. Wish listing that, Steve.